the Adirond Airsoft Review is brought to you by airsoftclub.com. What's up guys, here with another Adirond Airsoft Review. Today we're reviewing from airsoftclub.com the Squat X Cap Elbow Pad and Knee Pad Set. You can get them for 15 bucks. It comes with two knee pads, two elbow pads, obviously for your two knees and two elbows. Um, but they make crawling around outside in the um, sticks and rocks and or inside if you're sliding around and stuff, it makes it a lot more comfortable. It makes it so you don't bang up your knees and elbows and uh, go home sore at the end of the day. They absorb a lot of the shock. They have a nice hard shell on the outside and then a nice bit of padding on the inside um, as well as a little pocket so you can actually put more padding in if you have some and you want to. Um, now I'm not going to lie to you and say that these don't limit your mobility at all. I mean, with any knee pad or elbow pad, this is the elbow pad because it's smaller. They, you have your two straps on the inside. Obviously, they're going to uh, limit you from bending your knee all the way or your elbow all the way. But in Airsoft, I mean, as long as you can do that, which you easily can with these uh, elbow pads, no problem. And with the knee pads, you can easily run, walk, whatever. No problems at all. But um, they do make crawling and sliding a lot more comfortable. Um, now, let me just show you real quick. These are the elbow pads. As for adjustment, there is an elastic strap right here. It has a little bit of a give to it. And then there's Velcro to adjust the size, depending upon the size of your arm. Now, I like to have it a little bit loose so it's not cutting off circulation or anything, but uh, up to personal preference. If, if, if you want them to be really tight and you're gonna be doing a lot of vigorous running and jumping and crawling. As for the knee pads right here, they do have the same elastic and Velcro, but they also have these sort of a uh, quick um, detach um, straps. So you can easily put them on or take them off if you, uh, if you don't want them real quick. They just have a little, um, little button right there and sort of a little latch that goes around it. Put it on and pull it tight. And you can easily put these on and take them off um, in mid-game. And like the elbow pads, they do have like a little pocket on the inside. I'll see if I can show you guys. Right here, there's a little pocket that you can probably stuff some more padding into um, if need be. So enough of me showing them to you while, me, while I'm holding them. That's pointless. So I'm going to put them on real quick and show you how they look. All right, so as you can see, I have the elbow pads on right now. And um, I've been walking around with them for a couple minutes now, just getting used to them and, you know, setting up the video um, so I can film this right now. And I don't really notice them anymore, um, especially the knee pads. They're really comfortable now. Um, you know, I walk around in them and it's not like, oh, there's a knee pad there. It's restricting my movement. I mean, obviously you can't bend your leg all the way back like normal, but um, that's just because you have two straps there. But um, for regular running and gunning and stuff, it's they're no problem you don't even really notice them and they're quite comfortable the elbow pads a little bit more noticeable just because i guess you move your arm and um your arms in different ways your knee kind of just goes straight back and forth whereas these are moving around like that uh, but you can still get into any position to hold a rifle or pistol any of that no problems you can extend your arms all the way um you might not be able to reach all the way back um, like you normally would, but I don't think you will be with any uh, elbow pads. So uh, I really do like them. For personal use, I probably won't use the elbow pads as much as I will the knee pads, simply because my playstyle doesn't require me to um, crawl a lot or run into walls and bang up my elbows. Whereas my knees though, in CQB you can slide now without uh, banging up your knees, and they're much more comfortable. So um, now let me show you the knees just to show you how they look. Alright, so as you can see here is the knee pad. Uh, let me just demo these uh, quick detach straps real quick. Simply just push up and they come off no problem. And then they secure back on quite easily. Um, as you can see you have the hard shell right here. And you'll notice that this part right here is shorter than this part right here. Um, I'm assuming, I mean, I don't normally wear knee pads. Um, I mean, until I got these. And so I'm assuming that this part is the part that goes sort of on your shin below your knee simply because when you're crawling the ground will be right here and um, that's the part that needs more protection whereas right here 
you're not going to be crawling as much or at all unless you're in like the prone position. This part's not going to touch the ground as much. So um, as you can see, knee pads and elbow pads, airsoftclub.com, SWAT, X cap, for 15 bucks. Can't beat it. And they're quite comfortable. So uh, only time will tell if they're durable, but I don't see why you'd have any problems. So thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. This Outrider Airsoft Review is brought to you by airsoftclub.com.